wanateta hawa wamekosa nini mbona mawapiga vita hawa wako askari kwa kweli hawamiliki wamejawa uteuri sisi kutudhi haki tuambulie sufuri hiyo kweli ni haki na yomba samahani kwa kosa nilofanya swala hili namba 1 kwa yangu mingi misada nikiwa toa njiani tawapeleka sokoni mola atakubariki huwa ni mwema gavana upunguze zetu dhiki tusije na umiana sokoni tukimiliki ushuru talipa sana biashara tukimiliki jiji litaimarika ugomvi utamaliza mauzo yawe sokoni na mji utaukuza bidhaa ziwe kwendani kazi ukitekeleza sifazo utabaini hilo ndilo wazo bora jijini kuwe imara shika tarima tuchimbe eh soko tupate ikumbe ah jenga kabisa pembe eh nifanye tena uzembe ah leo sasa tujigambe lotaka tushaibamba soko yetu tumeipata wow mzozo tumemaliza Tamati tawapongeza njiani kuwe makini miradi kuitimiza kila mtu yukazini raisi tawapongeza miradi kaisaini hilo hilo wazo bora nchini kuwe imara mie muko shanzu tija training college mombasa cu makofi makofi tafadhali asanteni sana Tupongeze tena hawa wa pwani kwa makofi jameni manake wametumboiza sana hawa. Asanteni sana. Coming next on stage is Mississippi and we are going to request that we give them some bit of time. There are students with special needs. Kwa hivyo tutawapa muda kidogo waweze ku set up. Your Excellency yesterday is Excellency the Deputy President alisema kwamba Kenya kuna watu wako na fake certificates. Na ni ukweli Your Excellency lakini kitu deputy president pia nataka nikukumbushe ni apart from fake certificates pia kila kitu watu ni fake kuna wengine hata kuna fake pastors kwetu mlolongo wamejaa hawa fake kwanza butita kuja ujifanye pastor kidogo nionyeshe his excellency vile tunateswa mlolongo e, jifanye pastor unakaa hata pastor unakaa pastor unakaa pastor he... mnaona butita si anakaa mchungaji So how my pastor wetu huko Mlolongo unapata saa yenye anahubiri zile vitu mzuri Mungu amemfanyia bwana kuanga na matranslator huyu translator kazi yake ni kusema vile pastor ameongea so unapata hawa matranslator wanakuanga wakora juu sasa pastor anasema vitu mzuri zile zimefanyiwa huyu zile mbaya ndio anasema wacha niwaonyeshe mjifanya tuko kwa nisa hii kanisa inaitwa Butita Redeemed Gospel Church sadaka ni lazima Church I'd like to give a testimony today. Kanisa ningependa kupeana ushuhuda leo. God has blessed me. Mungu amenibariki. I have two sons in the United States. Niko na watoto wawili America. I live in Runda. Nina ka Runda. I own a private jet. Niko na private jet. But before that church. Lakini kabla hapo I was a thief. Alikuwa mwizi. I was a bad person. Alikuwa mtu mubaya. I was a liar. Alikuwa muongo. But look at me now. Lakini niangalie saa hii. I walk into state house every day. Ninaingia state house kila siku. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Enda ukae chini wewe mchungaji. Wapi makofi ya butita? Mheshimiwa rais, hayo ni mambo tunapitia mlolongo. So, um, nilikuwa na ile elfu ya malala. Malala ni rafiki yetu sana. Bosi you inspired us to try to do this thing. Unaweza kuwa hizo siku ulikuwa unafanya huko umekuwa mwanasiasa. Lakini sisi tulikuwa high school na tulikuwa tunakuona. So wacha leo nikupatie your flowers. You've done well and for that chukua hizo awardi yangu ya elfu moja. wenda ukule kitu unakulanga na ushukuru Mungu tafadhali. Thank you your excellency from coast region again. Mombasa County from Mombasa School for the Physically Handicapped is a cultural creative dance for SNE secondary schools. Welcome your excellency sir.
na kusani same Mwali mure ro msame Mwali mure ro msame Azaenda kosa msame Azaenda kosa msame Wonderful round of applause to them one more time. Your Excellency, that is Mombasa Special School for the Physically Challenged, uh, bringing that presentation. Together with drama, Your Excellency, as we exemplify the creative industry, there is also film production. And coming up next is a creative production done by Alliance High School in form of an advert. Can we please have the sound? An advert would require sound. Please restart it and have the sound. This is my original Soma, soma, So ma, so ma, kijana So So Have you ever wondered why people keep quiet in an exam room, even when the question clearly states discuss? Alafu una fungua sasa. Mic check. Discuss, discuss. Niki sema discuss fungua yote. Niki sema discuss fungua. To avoid counterfeits and buying goods. Niki sema discuss. Ukisikia tu mesema discuss. Ndiyo utafungua yote. Now it's relax. This message is brought to you by the Kenya Anti-Counterfeit Authority. Upholding authenticity. Thank you. Thank you Bush for that advert. Your Excellency, next on stage... From Kisi County, a Kembo KTI uh, TTI will be presenting Safari Ya Kuala Lumpa. This is a story of a young man from the village who had put up an exemplary performance and proceeded to Ocampo University. He graduates with an obsolete degree and doesn't get a job. Later, he is called by travel agencies to go for an overseas job that doesn't exist. Later on, he decides to take up film as an alternative, and that is how his fortunes change. Welcome, Your Excellency, sir. Soma, soma, kijana we. Soma, soma, kijana we. Ukisha maliza masomo. Utapata kazi nzuri. Have you ever wondered why? Have you ever wondered why people keep quiet in an exam room even when the question clearly states, Discuss. Soma, soma, kijana we. Soma, soma, kijana we. Ukisha maliza masomo. Utapata kazi nzuri. Those were the words of my father as he congratulated me for my sterling performance at the end of my KCPE. 
I had scored a whooping 417 marks at the end of my primary education. This ignited a rare happiness and hope in my father, Omo Aka Wategi Tabu. It was a pleasant surprise since no one in our village had ever scored a simple 120 marks at their examination. In fact, there were rumors that someone had stolen your tayetu. So I born even Kondo, having scored 417 marks, was a combination of many unanswered prayers and the ultimate return of Nyota Yetu in Mikeumbu clan. Nime pita muti hani, nime pita muti hani, swimma. Nime pita muti, my clansmen began the search for the best school for their son. You see, when I used to scoring 120 marks and below, you develop an addiction of searching and begging for schools. And that was the case with my classmates. You could hear them converse. Oh, Minto, how is Egerson to high school? Do they also still examination? See? How is Monyage teaching a secondary? My husband is an alumni of that school and judging from his character. I don't think it is a good school. After weeks of searching and begging, my classmate was surprised when I received a letter from Ushindi Extra County, a national school in making. I too never failed my classmen, since in Form 1, I was number 1. In Form 2, I was number 2. In Form 3, I was number 3. And in Form 4, I was number 4. Ah, ah, I had passed. I had broken records. I had passed not with degrading grades, uh -uh. not with common grades, uh -uh. not with embarrassing grades. Uh -uh. I had passed with the most acceptable grade that allowed me to join Campo University. In Campo University, I graduated with a degree in hydrothermosis engineering. Do not ask me what the course entails, since my father, Omoraka, just wanted his son to graduate. And I, of course, had become a graduate. And for those of you still confused, asking yourself what hydrothermosis engineering entails, it is the study of thermos as a container of keeping tea, yani chai, at constant temperature before it goes down the esophagus. My next task in hand was to look for a job. I searched here, there, and everywhere until searching for a job became my job. Who had stolen your tayetu? Who had stolen your tayetu again? Then one day on social media, I came across an advert that read, Workers needed in Kuala Lumpur, hey, hey, hey. Betty Mingiana. Workers needed in Kuala Lumpur. Few positions remaining. Qualifications, any degree. How nice. A job had presented itself. And it was not just a regular job, but a job in the land of Watu Nyeupe. Pe, pe, pe. Overseas, hey, Kuala Lumpur. Nina Sija. Kuala Lumpa ni naenda Kuala Lumpa Kuala Lumpa ni naenda Kuala Lumpa e Kuala Lumpa ni nakuja Kuala Lumpa Kuala Lumpa ni nakuja Kuala Lumpa On the next day at the crack of dawn a mini harambe was formed a WhatsApp group was created my father sold four of our pregnant donkeys and half our ancestral land. A total amount of 699,999 was contributed. Two days later, two days later, my younger brother and my father escorted me to the Nairobi Telepesa Towers, seventh floor, where we met with the agency. We paid for the application fee registration fee, fee structure fee, and all other fees that needed to be paid. We were also served with tea. And it is not just your regular tea, but it is tea that had gone to school. In French, we call it H.I.A. Morero. 
The agency also booked me in a five-star hotel. But as for <laughs> my younger brother and my father, they found themselves uh, way to Korogocho, where they rented a self-confused apartment as they awaited to see off their son to Kuala Lumpur. On the 30th day of November, a day that I remember like yesterday, we all assembled at the Telepesa Towers ground floor. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, sixth floor, and finally, we were at the seventh floor. When we arrived, we did not find them. We found other men painting the walls. And we asked, Wako api? Wako api? Wako api? Safari yangu ya Kuala Lumpur ni leo. Wako api? That is when Ajitu la Mirabamine shamelessly answered us. Hata sisi ni watu wa maragi. Dio tu tumemariza kupaka ada kuti. What? We could not believe what we had. We rushed back to the hotel where the agency had booked me in. At the gate, we met with the security officer. He gave us a loud smile, a smile that comforted our hearts, and we knew kila kitu iko sawa. He then took us to the manager's office and told him, How and you are what to papa? How and you are what to? How and you are what to? When you are coming to look at a piece of accommodation, na chakuri asikutatu. Si mungu wa mwareta. E papa unita sero. Ni wase kumushinda shetani. What happened next? What happened to safari yangu ya kuala lumpa? It's a story for another day. Because as wahenga say, mambo ni mengi? Masaya ni machache. Ah, ah, mambo ni mengi. Masaya na latif ndio machache. As we speak, I have advised my younger brother to do a more productive course at the university other than my hydrothermosis engineering that has refused to give me a job. As we speak, I have uploaded this story on YouTube. Safari yangu ya Kuala Lumpur. My story. Go there, search, like, subscribe. And in that way, YouTube might give me some otonglu. I mean, so you have enjoyed my show. Unga pazia. Thank you very much, Ekambo Getai from Kisi County with your presentation, Safari Ya Kuala Lumpur. Your Excellency, next is a presentation from Northeastern Region, Waso Girls Secondary School with a solo of us uh, whose theme is on forced marriage. The narrator talks about how she has been forced to get married to books. It is presented by Ikra Ali, scripted by Peter Nyadawa, and directed by Zena Bishal. Welcome, Your Excellency, sir. It's on, it's on. I want to, this issue to clarify. For us urgent it, I want you to certify. My issue, you must verify. Certainly it, someone must simplify to ensure that you, I do not defy 
My covenant so typical, you must sanctify. And my pitied for us acts, purposefully purify. Otherwise, your quantified approach, I will disqualify. For I am tired of this forced marriage. I am tired of this Lord so broad. And of all that board, in this abode, fathers, I know of the road, on this road, for the teachers shout, Ukileta nye 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 fimbo chapo. And I, Lord being a papa, so I behave so brave, despite the crave, to appear proper. A behavior I can't condone, so it I want to abandon. Abandon, and dutifully declare another's down. I am tired of all you admire, tired of your ire. And the fire that you sire of the booked books and your stern looks maintain our mean scope and cease being a bow. You must be bound to biology and caught chemistry. You must be engaged to English and be hooked to history. You must be addicted to algebra and be married to mathematics. I am hooked and cooked by books. Sorry is my state. Pathetic my fate of late. For I am tired of this forced marriage. I need to lay my Lord for a day, for a day. I pray that I play, play like a child, and be wild for a while. A while that I may forget the work in my fire. Forget, forget that verb, forget. Forget play and your work here gets. Forget being a child or for us, you are set. How do I react when the can my attempt meets? I am tired of this forced marriage. Of this Lord I speak. Call me weak, a heap of load, heap to the peak, a load I must overcome. As you seek, say your say, relay your way. I found a way. I must carry on in this forced marriage. And if I miss your wish to carry, my flesh so fresh, you must bury, for I I'm tired of this forced marriage. I will invoke my age to provoke this marriage. I must soak my rage and change this adage with a little play. My mind will be fresher with a little of plays, pleasure. I will undo this palpitating pressure. Let me play like the child I am, and I will be better than most in our slums. Don't force me into this marriage, for I have been in this carriage, and I know for sure that I am tired of this forced marriage. With a little play, allow me to relay Relay the information on importance of plays, a play that will expose my talent, 
my talent so plenty in plays and books. Marry my talents to books with hooks to cook my inner me. Thanks. Thanks to the new me. Thanks to the CBC marriage. Not forced to books, but talent exposed to forced marriage. What's a girl's day secondary school production? See you. shines brightest in the face of adversity. For Amina and her family, the civil war in Somalia left them with nothing but shattered dreams and a longing for a better life. Displaced by the ravages of civil war, Amina's family fought refugee Kakuma refugee camp, where they endured hardship for two long years. But even amid this turmoil, Amina held on to one unwavering dream, the pursuit of education. Determined to acquire proper education, Amina ventured into the unknown streets of Nairobi, her future uncertain but her resolve unshakable. It was here, amidst the hustle and bustle of the city, that Amina's journey will take a new turn. refuge in Isili, a place where she could lay the foundation for her dreams to flourish. Amina ni msichana wa Kisomali ambaye ni mjukuu hapa jijini Nairobi akiwa hana mahali kwa kwenda. Alikuja Nairobi kwa sababu ya vita ambavyo viko nchi ya Somalia. Nilimchukua kama mlezi wake nikaanza kuishi naye kwa kabri ya miaka kama mi minne mitatu hivi nikamweka katika darasa la tatu akajiunga na shule But I was fortunate to encounter a kind stranger who had me find shelter in the sleigh where I've been living ever since. With a roof over her head and a newfound hope in her heart, Amina set out on a path to fulfill her aspirations. With determination as her compass, Amina took the bold step of enrolling herself in Ainsworth Primary School despite the odds stacked against her. than her peers, Amina refused to let age define her dreams. Even though I was much older than the other students, I knew it wouldn't be easy, but I was willing to work hard to achieve my dreams. Amina faced a myriad of challenges at Ainsworth Primary School. Language barriers, cultural differences, the stigma of being older than her classmates, but her spirit remained unbroken. Amina is a great person. When she joined our class, we were a bit surprised because she was older than the rest of us, but she quickly became one of us. Armed with determination and resilience, Amina forged ahead, 
and be tired by the obstacles in her path. Mina brought a lot of positivity to the classroom. She's always smiling and laughing and she's really fun to be around. She's, all, she's also good at sports, so she often organizes games, boring research, which everyone loves. The teachers also offered their additional sessions whereby she was able to be given extra to, uh, tutoring for her to improve. And also, the teachers created a nurturing environment for her to fit in. Amina found the support she needed to thrive. Encouraged to never give up, Amina's determination grew stronger with each passing day, fueling her pursuit of excellence. Mm -hmm. She was able to improve academically. She was confident and ready to learn from the teachers and other learners. She was a role model in the class. She remained focused on her goals, worked very hard to achieve them. Amina uh, also was helped by the staff who gave her extra tutoring lessons. Language teachers came in, uh, math teachers came in, science teachers came in to make sure that she could match with the rest. As a whole school and community, we worked around the clock to assist this girl to do and join the group better. Despite the odds stacked against her, Amina's hard work and perseverance paid off as she excelled in her studies. Her dedication caught the attention of her teachers and peers alike, earning her the prestigious Elimu Scholarship, a testament to her unwavering commitment to her education. into Amina's remarkable journey, a journey marked by resilience, perseverance, and unwavering determination. From the corridors of Ainsworth Primary School to the halls of academia, Amina's story serves as a beacon of hope for all who dare to dream. Amina's journey is a shining example of what can be achieved with the hard work and determination. I can see a good future for her. I am proud to be part of it. Amina's journey is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. I remember that with determination and perseverance, anything is possible. She has that genuine passion of learning. Despite having challenges in the language barrier and uh, cultural differences, Amina is dedicated to excel in her studies. She's also a very compassionate and supportive classmate, ready to give a helping hand to her peers. As she continues to chase her dreams, Amina serves as an inspiration to us all, a living embodiment of the power of education to transform lives and transcend boundaries. I hope she continues to grow into that confident and compassionate person that she is, making that positive impact wherever she goes. Amina is truly a Thank you, Ensworth from Nairobi County. Next on stage, Your Excellency, is Visha Oshwa <laughs> Primary School from Nairobi <laughs> County <laughs> also. <laughs> and they are presenting a play on the abstract painting. The lead character Zebedayo, an autistic child, finds himself in a state of quagmire. He is brilliant at his work, and his ideas earn him the envy of his sister, to the extent of the sister telling her friends that he is the son of the house help. It is scripted by Ricken, produced by Fantasy Tagu, and directed by Edward Wandera. Welcome, Your Excellency, sir. In our school. Exactly. Madam Principal. This is Oprah. Welcome to Compassion Academy. 
Exhibition. Sister, I don't to do that piece. Sister, your no, he's not. Sister, stop lying. Zebedayo, stop this. Why are you embarrassing me? I am not embarrassing you. I am your brother and you're my sister. Hey, you guys are related. Hey, for me. Guys, Alma. let me tell you the truth. Yeah. He is the son to our house. Zebedeo oh, also want to do that piece with an abstract style of painting. What? My piece might also be the best. Sorry, but I have already exhibited so many art pieces and they have always excelled in various exhibitions. Exactly. Has got keen interest in art. Uh, we already chose Alma. Exactly. Yes. What, what is it, Siri? What is it? 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 What is it?
student in Compassion Academy, my fellow artist, am I lying? No, you are the And what makes you think that the sound to our house self can beat I, Alma, in painting? It is the Bedeo also want to do that piece. Teacher, Bedeo is walking around the art room doing nothing. We have not seen him painting. We have not seen him painting. Ah. Must you repeat my words? Sorry, but Bedeo can paint. Teacher, you know I have been working on this piece for the last two weeks. And even the principal knows that I am the one working on the piece that is going to represent the school at the Tupande meeting. Bishon. It is official. Yes, it is official. Bedayo, prove to us that you can paint. Yes, prove to us that you can paint. Surely, what is this? You have just thrown color all over. What is wrong about that picture? This piece of art is so brilliant. It is also a masterpiece. We understand nothing about it. Exactly. Why do you students forget so easily? I taught this under the different kinds of paint. This piece is so abstract painting. Very abstract painting. Visa Osho School, Nairobi. Yes, teacher. best. I have lived the legacy of my late father in art. I had the chance in my fingers, the chance to produce the best piece of art. But then Sebedayo happened. Sebedayo is a genius in painting. He has come with a unique way of painting called abstract painting. He's the only one capable of doing that type of style in the entire school. And to make matters worse, Mrs. Kakenya, the HOD, was pleased and gave Zibedayo a chance to do a piece that will be compared with mine. Something I must do. Zebedayo. Zebedayo, I have a bone to chew with you. Anything the matter? It is your first time in this school and you want to bring me down. You know, art is my thing. I don't have a problem with you enjoying the art room. My problem is you trying to snatch away my chance of exhibiting my artistic piece at the Tupande Miti Art Exhibition. I was not aware of that. Now that you are aware of that, I want you to back out of that exhibition. You know I am a Miss favorite, and I can convince her to take you back to that special school. Please, I don't want to go back to that school I love here. Then you know what to do. Don't submit your painting to Mrs. Kakenya. Am I clear? A miracle in my life just happened, and now you're telling me to just let it go, or I will go back to that school. I can't, I should not, I can't, I should not. Why let no one weep for you? For I still live. I have lost this. 
and mourning never ends for those who have faced unimaginable losses. Our little secrets. If you speak out, I will make sure that mom takes you back to that special school. Am I clear? I can't. I should not. I can't. I should not. I can't. I should. Yes, what, what is it, Angel? Controlling his emotions like a mad person. Mimi is in your quelly and a cat easy. And how is a painting brush going to help him in that madness situation? out of nowhere and to his own canvas. You should have told him that before he dramatically to his own canvas. I am not giving any new canvas for the same project. That is contrary. Rule number four. Rule number four. One canvas for one project. And that is my final decision. Siri, why are you trying to bring me down by helping this weirdo student? <laughs> Guys, we have to brainstorm. Come. <laughs> Guys, I am not seeing myself doing this again. I am opting out the Tupande meeting at exhibition. I am letting that so-called special boy to do his piece. I had a dream to do a piece. A piece that will be represented at the Tupande Miti Art Exhibition. But then the Bidayo happened. Alma, I personally believe that your piece will be the best. Furthermore, the Bidayo doesn't have enough time to complete his 
Kiri is so determined to help that so. smoke-on special boy with symptoms and characteristics of a mad person with that abstract style of painting. Last year, my painting piece on the Tutuze Wanyama Pori became the best countrywide. And all of you who were treated to a trip at the Amboseli National Park sponsored by the Kenya Wildlife Service. We can't forget that. Ah, you speak yeah. of poor. Ah, I Another treat. It's a bidi messy mama nandugu. Mabo ni matatu. So be it. Zebedayo. Zebedayo. My friends and I have decided that you will not take anything that is rightfully mine. My concern, Zebedayo, we want to see this art room. And if you have to paint, then do it outside the art room, Zebedayo. Out of this art room, no, out of this art room now, but Zebedayo is still painting. We don't care. In fact, I am closing this. Are true. Zebedayo will have access to it. Am I clear? Why are you doing this to Zebedayo? Zebedayo! You have lost the art. Siri, why are the other students treating me like this? Am I so abnormal? Am I so weird? All my other friends don't want me to do what I love the most. I fear that no one will trust or even understand me. Siri, you are the only person who is still on my side. Please go and report on my behalf. You are not sure 
Lord. You are. We are skinned and I'm not going to go. The body has to go. But today, think in the world. Think just in what of the earth. Fight is so absurd. Where are they? Outside. Let's go. Haza. What a principle. What you have done is an indiscipline change. And a torture to a special child. Haza. Madam. Mom, good job. 
Mami Agi. Ma. You of all the people. I told you to take care of your brother. I am so sorry if it's Oprah. Let me finish this thing. I am so sorry if it's Oprah. I think we forgot on our part of informing the rest of the students about the Vidaya's autistic condition. I am so sorry. Madam Principal. Mrs. Kakenya. Mommy. Zebedayo. Please forgive me. I am sorry. Zebedayo is a genius in painting. And that was my fear. Please forgive me. I am not forgiving you. I know I should have been the one giving you a shoulder to lean on but i failed you i am sorry you know art is my thing and you still frustrated me my selfishness has landed me to this problem please forgive me my brother i am not your brother i am the son to your house help what that is what she told the other students I'm your brother brother, is brother. brother. i am so disappointed in you we will solve that one I will only forgive Alma if my painting piece will compete with hers. It is not about competition, but collaboration between the both of you to produce the best piece for the exhibition. Alma, yes, my brother. Come. Will you lock me out of the art room again? No, I won't. Will you take away my painting brush? No, I won't. Will you call me the son to your house self? No, I won't, my brother. I have learned my lesson. Will you give me a shoulder to lean on? Yes, my brother. I will ensure to keep my words. For sure, you are my sister. I forgive you. Thank you very much, my brother. It feels nice to see both of my children embracing each other like this. Now, that's what forgiveness truly is. Alma, yes, Madam Principal. Call your friends. Guys, guys. Alma, Ujeni. Sawa. It was a joke. Alma, I am so sorry. It was an overthink on our side concerning Zebedaya's condition and how to relate with such cases. Therefore, I will be initiating a process of starting a special unit in Compassion Academy. Wow! A special unit for autistic children. Yes. Alma, come here. I am so disappointed with you. Compassion Academy is a child-friendly school. Therefore, I am ripping you off being the art room prefect. brother Zebedayo and helping him feel like somebody. Wow! You look good together! Now that we are in agreement, Alma and Zebedayo will work on the piece that is going to represent the school at the Tupanda Miti Art Exhibition. Realistic style of painting and abstract style of painting put together will produce a masterpiece. That's a good idea! Light it up blue for autism awareness. Blue is the color! Na 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 na
na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na Compassion Academy must produce the best painting piece, which will be hosted at the Tupani Liti Art Exhibition. We are counting on you. Yes, we are. One cause, one community, one family for autism awareness. The Art of Painting, Visa Osho School, Nairobi. See ya. Come on, a warm, warm round of applause for them. And may I ask Zebadayo and Alma to just come and shake Alma. the president's hand on behalf of the team. Let's welcome Zebadaya and Alma to just come and uh, shake His Excellency's hand. Your Excellency, Your Excellency, just to highlight, please, please come, please come. They can come forward. Let them come with it. The, on behalf of the team, we'll have a photo session for them. But Your Excellency, this uh, play was Thank by you. MC Brio, a photographer who's working with UDA. We also have uh, uh, Honorable Cleofas Malala was also part of the uh, production of the play. KJ had a dance and the one and only Dennis Itumbi was also part of this production. Thank so thank you so much. Let's put our thank hands you. together as we uh, at the exit stage and we get ready for the rest. We have an advert. Beautiful. <laughs> Are you hosting festivals in your region? Hosting IT meetings in your school? Look no more! Kivaiwa Chicken has chicken with a shuya. Those around Nabiore Falls, Kabrengu Flyover, Malava Forest, and Awai University. Welcome. We have four chicken at 300 shillings. One liter of chicken soup at 40 bob. Imondo at 50 shillings. Chicken legs at 10 shillings. And Indumbo, the drumstick at 50 bob. Kiva, caring for your appetite. Come one, come off. For more information, contact Kivaiwa www.co.ke Asante Nisan, thank you so much. Your Excellency, hapa niko na watu wa Highway High School na wame complaint kidogo, wakasema wanataka kufundisha malala kudance kwa sababu mina danzisha wa sani, wa eshimiwa na nawaacha. Sashida ni moja, kujani hapa msiogupe wa dosi. Ebu munioneshe dance style zenu kabla ni itishe muziki no nijue kama ni dance style zineleza chezwa mbele ya rais. Ebu, Your Excellency, hiyo inaitua mastailo Deadly Deadly. Hawa ni watu watari. Wana dance bila muziki na amuwezi wapigia makofi. So bas, nataka tuamue kati yao wawili nani mnoma. DJ, ukona any song, hata mzabibu wiko sawa. Bas, tuende bas, mwenye atashinda, wanaichi watamua. Haya. Goja, goja, goja DJ. Goja DJ. Kuna watu wa highway high school hapa. Highway high school make some noise. Wacha kuangusha timu. Mmoja akuja hii side, mwingine abaki hiyo side. Mtaniambia hii tao unapatia nani? Twende kase.
Ngoja ngoja DJ. Kasee kuja. Kasee njoo. Njoo. Baba katika jina la Yesu na kuja mbele zako. Pepo ya Selasi anasema itoke. Nani anaweza? Kama unasema huyu apewe thou say hi. Na kama unasema huyu apewe thou say hi. So the highs of it wewe ndo unapatiwa helfi yako moja. Si huyu? Wote wawili. Wacha wafanye tena nione, niamue. Kase toa koti dio inasaidia. Ukitoa koti. Aya DJ tuone kazi. Kamata, hapo DJ, hapo Your Excellency, I'm going to hold you like that Tukirudi, tutaendelea Asante Jifanyedi tuko kwa TV Ni chao ende, we'll be right back after the break Thank you, the Highway School from Nairobi Your Excellency The University of Embu Was our gracious host The whole of last week and the other And today They are going to present a choral verse about the housing project. The government has rolled out the affordable housing program and the project has set timelines. A rift emerges between the university graduates who are qualified engineers and graduates from the technical training institutes as they battle for this space. The graduates view is that they are better placed in delivering the works while the technical graduates believe it is them. Time is running out and two camps fail to agree. The government decides to have the two functions working together in order to achieve the set agenda. The two teams agree with the new directive on teamwork to achieve set goals. Produced by Professor Mugendi and directed by Sam Mutua. Welcome, Your Excellency, Sal. Yo, 
pole kanda rasi kinibei kiti tata kumege bahari nitaogele safi hewa kupungia la hatele na kwambia za kondoto za timia kondata aminia chemi chemi za uongo na ni korodo si jobo kabu tingi za ubongo kini sili ata kukaba mimi mzabibu mwongo sikia mibaya baba wewe punguza maringo tali ya toto la baba shika hi hapa mwongo tazama mshini humu tamu hiye tunahamu mwashaka meitimu mwongo hata itimu mnazidi kulaumu amu wazi mkadumu kondata ana zamu ya kutumia bihumu tuanzisha kazi humu ya bei na puu chengeni yote haya tatendani na nini hapa joni kule ni wakilisheni mkuru to watumani na kuumbei chengeni viumba safi zi njini ajenda ii jitumeni sasa wote shatimuni wow we kazi na mna gani tumefika gileleni wapatu wa mechapani hela mdarisheni kizi kwanza na kagweni nayo shaka sitieni masomo ya darasani ni sawa na mitamboni be hamtafikani we muda wacha kasheshe kata tende tupo sani mwono sini katishe iti ni ya hoba sani kicha kato tupunguzi Tupandishe haiti kwa pamoja tuweze she tufikie na tamati majengo tukamilishe kazi ya maji usema nguvu katika umoja tuziache mambo nyuma tuungane pamoja kwa pamoja tajitu ha ushirika wa mamoja tujenge vyumba vyema vifae kila mja na tatendayo ni mema joma lori fungueni ndo sementi mtoeni hata mawe mletendi kazi hapa isongeni hala hala fikisheni kwa mjengo fikisheni kazi safi wote ndani pamoja kiunganeni na hatu watachapani na mashine ingurume safaraga ishikeni wasepetu mjitume uzitupa mlendani hima hima visimame yumba hivi mjini kila kitu kwa umeme na mshahara mpateni na propaganda tuzime wow mwonaje hichi yetu Yamelemeta hakika kiongozi alo wetu hakika awajibika rais ruto ni wetu yuma mingi itajika tatetea mali yetu na wajenda timika ya bei na fu yetu yuma hivi imemalisha wengi wacha tawezesha maskini tamalisha nyote tunakaribisha na utenzi kwa tamasi ajenda taitimisha ndio maisha kuboresha ya masaibu yaisha kwa pamoja tumeweza Emu ni sisi tuko imara kwenye agenda ta agenda mradi top ranking Uh, to pigie makofi university of embu please professor mugendi thank you very much i can see professor ngondo smiling because of collaboration thank you Next on stage, Your Excellency, is Migosi uh, Primary School, and I've been trending on social media for quite some time. And they present Otonglo, children who have a talent in music, and this music talent will unlock their potential for them so that they can make a living out of it. The cast is directed by Madame Rose Omolo, and the producer is Madame Rose Osinde. Thank you very much, and welcome. Uh, Migosi Primary School.
and uh, this script my drama teacher is another one this festival is burning send a five name my dear in my class a classic six six in my my dad my beloved this performance is mine Makofi Kwao, I'll ask, just leave the curtains open, if we can kindly have the children just in their formation, if you can just have your formation, back to your formation, Your Excellency Sir, if I may request that you just take one picture with them, remain where you are, just as you are, for His Excellency to join you, where you are, don't move, don't move, children. <laughs> I knew that would be difficult, I wanted them in their formation for a particular picture, but that's okay. Let's allow His Excellency to take a picture with them as we give them one more round of applause. Those clearing this. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Thank you, thank you. The picture was supposed to be taken with them in their formation, but this opportunity comes once. And therefore, they have seized it properly. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. And we'll now have a short advert as we now prepare for the next presentation. The advert. Straight from our orchard to your mouth. The first 100% pure origin fruit punch. No sweetness, no preservatives, no additives, just natural. Super fruit punch overloaded with nutrients from mangoes, bananas, watermelons, passion fruit, purple, beetroot, avocados, and milk. To give you an incredible taste, it enhances concentration, memory retention, and good for your bones. Nyangwa fruit punch by Nyangwa School. Feel good. Thank you very much. Uh, Your Excellency, next on stage from Kiambu County, Central Region, we have PCE Kakema with a solo verse. And this girl is asking, who am I performing for? Am I performing for my teacher? Am I performing for my own sake? Am I performing for my parents? And her wish is that she was performing for herself. Welcome, Your Excellency, sir. Cut is open! Light! Flash! Audience seated off stage, staring listlessly at me on stage endlessly. My director moves backstage, screaming mercilessly with rage. Stop shouting, project your voice, face, facial expressions. He signals confusing. I was terrified, worried, scared. What should I do? Where do I move? Where do I freeze? Ah, who am I performing for? This script, 
This script is hard, complicated. These lines I can't comprehend. Have rehearsed and rehearsed. From dawn to dusk. Ah! From Monday to Sunday. Sunday to Monday and back. Miss Preps remedial lessons. But a mail to crumb. Master! Who am I performing for? My drama teacher is another one, always giving me roles, roles, difficult roles, roles that even you cannot execute. Oh, da! Silence in court. Ojuang, this court finds you guilty. Teacher, Teacher, please, I will fumble, mumble. I am simple, humble, just an innocent girl. Teacher, cast me a role. A role that I will enjoy. Articulate my role with joy. And destroy the stage and try. Surely... Teacher, who am I performing for? This festival is burning. This festival is fire. This festival we love to interact, to mingle and jingle. We are single. Then, then from nowhere, jumps like lightning. My teacher appeared. Where, where? What are you doing? Badly, busily chatting, flirting. Bring that ice cream, lollipop, pin pop. But teacher, silence, nonsense. Go back to the bus. Take care of your voice. Sip a concoction of bitter lemon and ginger. We are next on stage. Surely, who am I performing for? In my class, a classic, classic class of star. I am the black sheep. My class teacher says, Shikau, have you finished my homework, group work, teamwork, Assignments, you are lowering my class means co. Hurriedly, angrily, aggressively, she baptized me with slaps. Ah! Your academic performance is in a coma with your pajamas. Go back to drama. That's where you belong. Who am I performing for? My dad, my beloved, my icon, ordered me to quit this performance. She called perfect your class performance. Be a professor just like me. Daddy, in this stage, I am a performer. Look at me. Look at me, Daddy. My voice well projected, my guesses synchronized, my expression summonized to my performance. She go back to your room, burn the midnight oil, finish your homework, assignments. Now, what do I do? Who do I listen? Who do I follow? Ah! Who am I performing for? This is my performance. I earn it. 
I love it. I adore it with fashion. Give me a chance at last to dance in this drama festival. This performance is mine, dedicated to you and you and you, my beloved audience. With this drama performance, my talent developed, nurtured, amplified. With this stage performance, I'm now better, brighter, smarter and smarter in character. Who am I performing for? Presented by I, Kayla Gakenia, PCA Kagema Public School, Siju. Makofi, Makofi, Makofi. Asante sana. Congratulations, well done. Una kesi hapa nilikuwa ninapanga lakini hiyo kesi tutaongea baadaye kwa sababu niko na 1000 nishapea waheshimiwa pesa yangu nimeishiwa. But kuna msichana hapa anaitwa Femi One. Ameniambia anataka kujaribu hii kazi nafanyanga ya comedy. So situmpe chance. Tuone kama katachuchekesha. Pigeni Femi One Makofi anapokuja. She has comedy she wants to do for us. Karibu mama. Ati unaitwa wako nani? Wewe. Bwana Mlaza anaitwa Chipukisi. Chipukisi. Kumbe ni wewe. Nimekupata. Hebu kama tako hapa kwanza. Uko sawa? Hebu ke uke tirani yako mwambie mimi na shangaa. Ampie tirani yako mimi na shangaa. Chipukisi niko na sawati yako. Nipatie sawati yangu. Niko na sawati yako. Leta sawati bwana. Kila mtu anaona hii ni nini? Mr. President, unaona hii ni nini? Ni saa. Chipukisi shika hii saa. Mnachoka kwa nini nimepea chipukisi hiyo saa? Chipukisi unachoka kwa nini nimekupea hiyo saa? Hii story ni yako mami. Si ndio wafuta this. Nikiambia chipukisi anipeleke lunch. Asiniambie hana time yangu. <laughs> Epo ambia jirani yako mimi nashangaa. Ambia jirani yako mimi nashangaa. Na ndio chipukisi asinihepe. Niko sure hana namba yangu. Hia. Hauna namba yangu. Kani mimi sikujuti. Hebu shika imusumari. Mnachoka kwa nini nimempa hiyo musumari? Ndio akifika nyumbani anitungie. Ampia jirani yako mimi nashangaa. Ona hata Mr. President anashangaa. Tipukizi wewe leo nimekupata. Unashangaza bwana. Leo nimekupata. Nimepatikana mimi. Sasa niende. Umemaliza? Unataka niende. Siwaambie wakupikie makofi. Pato niko na kitu moja hapa. Unachoa mimi na shangaa, mbona na performia Mr. President na asinipea mukate? Mr. President unachoa ukilipea mukate. Niende leo nyumbani. Watu wataniheshimu. Mnachoa kwa nini watu wataniheshimu? Mnachoa kwa nini? Sinitakuwa breadwinner. <laughs> Eh 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 Ikibamba sana wapi duru wewe Wacha kwanza nikupatie hiyo mkate ya president Asante bwana Hata msishangae nikienda Wapi makofi ya mrembo anaweza hawezi Bwana Ebi Butita sisi tumekupatia kazi mdosi kazi yako ni kunacha wasanii tafadhali tusaidie bosi Asante sana Tuko na tie ya wale wawili wali dance So kujeni tuamue. Lakini niko na issue. Mudosi, tunipe ile dawa yangu na kupatia baadaye. Ulimpea kitu mbili. Mudosi leta tano mudosi. Usikue mtu wa Asante kisa. Asante. So si mmeona mahali nimetoa. To dance tu ya mwisho ndio tuamue. Sawa? DJ, mzabibu. Nani anaweza? Ngoja DJ, ngoja DJ, ngoja DJ. Hiyo ugonjwa ni kushika mwaka gani tafadhali? 
this mheshimiwa rais najua anashangaa hawa wanasomanga saa ngapi so shika elfu yako moja wapigeni makofi tafadhali big up sana asante sana and then mali mlitoka hii koti nimechukua tuonane baadaye how are high school eh how are high school ha very good kuna mtu mwingine yako na talanta mwenye anasikia amewachwa nje hapa kwa wadosi he nani ati toto ha mtoto joto joto kuja joto buda unaitwa joto Hey 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 joto re joto re kuja bosi ji introduce uniambie talanta yako ni gani All right ladies and gentlemen my name is Joto spoken word artist Kenya Institute of Mass Communication Powerhouse South We will be right back after the break Wakikupatia sunburn mimi nakuja wakikupatia sun hatban mimi nakuja sunburn ndio maana wanaita Joto Yeah so mimi waambia kabla ianze ugaibuni lazima si tupendane So kabla iende ugaibuni Dubai na kila kona sianze Kenya kwanza. Najua kila mtu ako na azimio la kwenda mbali. Lakini ni vile hatuna umoja kwa sababu tunakosa kuanzia Kenya kwanza. So mimi nimetoka Mars. Place yenye Mama nzi wenye natoka huko lazima kuwe na mas. Mimi nimezaliwa Mars place. Mimi nimetoka Mars place. Lazima eh, ukitaka kuget mwanzi lazima kuwe na mas. Juu. Hao mama nzi wanadai maboy wako na mas. Miss Jika walizaliwa Mars. True love imegeuzwa gas juu ya pressure cash. The more una rush the more coins wanna flash bash imekuwa trash ya kusmash after one night stand crash ashakuwa trash anakami wanawasi wa vitambi ya tijua na drive cars mindset is only one hakuna ka keys kama huna ka mwa nilidhani msupa ni Vincent kumbe ni cars juu sina gari alinieka parking akaniacha na maskas So daily me water na kwa ndoto kuwa na moto nikiota na wewe ju niko na ndoto ya kushinda loto moto ili nikutoe huku nyeri nikupeleke Mombasa mimi nikutoe tu baridi nikupe joto sonite joto manze wapi makofi ya joto wewe Thank you from Kenya Institute of Mass Communication your excellency uh, from the foot of Mount Masaba Paul Walobas Friends School Kamusinga presents the prescription and I think it is the prescription that all of us want is a play about Stefano a form three student who is at home for the half term break he has been given a lot of assignment making his get making him get choked under the pressure of academic work and results He is choked. The parents are choked. The teachers are choked. Directed by Ibrahim Mwamboko, written by Dr. Eric Amunga and produced by the principal Paul Weloba. Karibu. A 
a convict. Father, I am a convict. Convicted behind these walls with nowhere to escape. Where did you get the alacrity to speak with such pomposity? Don't be so quick to admonish him. Don't be judgmental. I am a judge of the high court. So what? I have experience in pronouncing sober judgment. That doesn't give you the moral authority to call your son a hoodlap and a convict. This is my son. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Portia. I am a pharmacist. I dispense prescription medication. I am the proprietor of Bosch Pharmacy. I have pumped so much money into that pharmacy. My name is Apollo. I have been employed in this pharmacy as a pharmacy assistant. I am a professional pharmacy assistant committed to the safety of medicine. That is my husband. His name is Justice Agostino, a celebrated judge of the High Court. And this is my son. He is called Stefano. I am a form three student at County Boy High School. My father does not want me to extend my plea. This morning, my students must wake up early to face the day with the determination of a reptile. Stefano is not a reptile. Even a crocodile sleeps for a while before it becomes agile and mobile. That is correct. Father, father, don't you remember what my grandfather said? I was still a... Yes, my father. Stefano is still a criminal. His brain is still fragile. Inadequate rest is volatile. It will turn his brain to side and make him see... Father, that. your sentiments are futile. Your pleadings Ninety percent of mental illnesses are due to degeneration of brain tissue because of poor wellness of the mind. And that is, that is what my teacher of guiding and counseling says. This family is under my jurisdiction. I am the de facto authority in this. Oh, you are piling pressure in my head. I have a pile of prescription medication to dispense. Dispensing medication without a doctor's prescription will lead to your prosecution. Who are you? My name is Brutus. Brutus? I am a government inspector. I am here to inspect this pharmacy. But this pharmacy I does not... Send the street pharmacies sell medicine to my name. We don't do that here. You promise me. Do you see? This is one of the children to whom you sell and prescribe medication. This is my son. Your son. His name is Brian. He's the reason I cannot dispense medicine to children without a doctor. Medicine is poisonous. If Miss Henry, it should be kept away from my mother. The safety of children is our priority. Father, I request Brian. You are giving me too much pressure. This is the chemistry textbook. That you want to put further out. But that! Brutus, please be considerate. No. If you shut down this pharmacy, how do you expect me to fend for myself? I am not a charity. I am Brutus, a government inspector mandated to close outlets that flout regulations. But sir, we are not abiding. Brutus! Oh, have too much pressure. Stefano, Stefano, my son. Where are you going? I have requested my father. If I could go and visit my grandfather. What are you talking about? Father. I miss my grandfather. His farm. His animals. He you will visit him in December. But father, I did not visit him last December. Because you were sick. You promised me that I will visit him during this half-time break. Mm, there is no half-time break for his students. You must work hard. You must excel in your exams. Mother, 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 I scored a bit plus in my last exam. You must score an A. You must become a judge like me. When I am still alive, I will put 
pressure on the system to fix you in somewhere as a magistrate. But I don't want to be a judge. I want to be a farmer. Hey, a farmer. A farmer. A farmer. A farmer. Stefano. Stefano. Are you getting dead? Stefano. Come. Everybody! 
any adverse. There is adverse unless acted upon by an external force. Mr. Marcus, parents, by too much pressure on us, we have become prisoners, prisoners of curriculum, slaves of the means code, and convicts of pressure. The convicts, Mr. Marcus, help me, Stefano. You are as inept as the noble gases. That is right. I am here to help you. Nayo. Yes, Stefano. Help me. Stefano. Yes, father. I have some good news. I agree with you. You will go to visit your grandfather. Thank you. Thank you. But on condition that you finish your assignment. <laughs> Elephant. 
elephant in the room. What is the name of five elephants? Teapad. Teacher performer. A prison. Exactly. Unfortunately, Mr. Marcus, no prescription, no medicine. You will be prosecuted for professional negligence. And I will be sitting in court to make a ruling. Ah, oh, justice. Ah. I have not committed any crime. I am just avoiding unnecessary pressure. Malum, prohibit us committing murder while hiding behind professionalism. Justice, I have a family. I have responsibilities. Life is so stressful. I don't want pressure. Justice, Mr. I have seen that this pharmacy is full of confusion and my head is expanding like a binomial expansion of an exponential. I can't solve this equation. Let me just go home and die like a child with malnutrition. Justice, go to the hospital. Let the doctor examine him. Then the doctor will prescribe the right medicine. Mr. Marcus, Mr. Marcus, Mr. Marcus. This is not a hospital. This is a pharmacy. Trial. On a cross, see, mother, see, I was just 
planning about cross multiplication of unknown variables in an equation. Oh, but, but, but wait, Mr. Marcus. He went to the hospital for a prescription. A prescription? He had a splitting headache. His head was bursting from pressure. Pressure. Storm. Storm. Mother. Mother. Stefan, store this cough syrup in a cold, dry place. Keep it away from children. Where should I keep it? Do you want to put it on my head? Go ahead. Mother. You want to drink it? Drink. Mother. Oh, you want to swim in it? Oh. Swim. Become the best swimmer in the country. Mother. You can also cook it if you want. Mother. My father has already passed his body. You are now dispensing my extinct. Matayo should be held responsible. 
He is culpable and criminal. Do you expect me to stand here and act like a son? You are dreaming. I am going home. You, you are, are going, going nowhere. nowhere. I did not invite myself here. Stefano did. He should be responsible. <laughs> malaria, she buys Amoxil and Brufen from the chemist. There is no Amoxil. What about Panadol and Brufen? No pharmacist will sell you drugs without a doctor's prescription. Matayo! I buy Piriton and Amoxil without a prescription. What are you telling us? Excuse me, sir. I need help. Stefano? Where is your prescription? It is malaria. Malaria. And ulcers. Ulcers. My friend has collapsed. Your friend? Yes. We were doing my assignment when he suddenly developed a headache and hotness of the body. What is happening in your house? Your father was here with a headache. You are here with a headache. Pressure, pressure. Apollo, I am under pressure. Stefano, is that you? Stefano, my grandson. Kuka. Stefano. Kuka. What are you doing here? Are you sick? No. Why are you talking about me? What is happening? You are dead. <laughs> dead. You took some syrup and died. You see? You see? You said that I murdered him. I am as fit as a fiddle. This is my grandfather. His name is Kuka Zebedai. Zebedai, take your grandson out of this place. But why? I came here to see Kosha, the owner of this pharmacy. I brought a fresh fruit from the village to prepare for my good grandson, Stefano. Kuka, what is it? I came here to beg for many things. Don't tell me you have also fallen sick like your father. This friend went to my visit. This friend came to visit me. And unfortunately, he collapsed. No! Stop it! We have to leave this place. This house is under pressure. If the final does not come back in the next two minutes, we better leave. Shh! Somebody is coming. You brought us here. Please don't shout. Oh, we stop! To dispense medicine to children. I am his guardian. Give me the medicine. I will ensure. Kuka. What is it? I am not leaving this place. Why? Ah. Please, Kuka. If you don't take me with you, I'd rather stay here. The rest of my house I'm praying. Stefano, oh, no. what are you talking about? Can we go together? I will convince your father to release you. No! My father's determination is final. He is like a prison warden, standing at the gate of prison with a whip, <laughs> ready to crush any That house is like this virtual reality. Nothing 
is natural. I cannot stay there. Stefan! 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 Father, I had invited my friend. Hey. What did I hear? Did you invite your friends to my house without my consent? Agostino, Stefano, my good grandson, is not a prisoner. No, I ain't retired. Father, Emerita, Allah, you know nothing on modern parenting. Stay out of this conflict. <laughs> Forgive me, Father. Yes, Mr. Agostino, please forgive me for the embarrassment that my son has brought into this house. Your son was here in the morning. I left him in the house to work on his house dumb assignment. I instructed him not to leave the house. Get out! Get out! Get out! 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 Stefan, who are they? Why are they putting on my lab coat? Second, isn't that my important? Expensive Brazilian hair. Mm -hmm. Stefano, who are they? And what were they doing in my bedroom? Enough of this charade. Enough. Give these children a break. Clear the rod. Spoil the child. It is wrong to contain children as if they are syrup in a bottle. It is very, very wrong to measure their lives the way a doctor measures doses on a prescription. These children must excel in education to make their parents proud. That is the prescription. No, I disagree with that prescription. Brutus? Brutus? Who is Brutus? I am a government inspector who ensures the safety of medicine everywhere, including home. So what? These children should not be bottled up like medicine. They should not be stored in a cool and dry place and kept away from fellow children. Exactly! These are markers! Marcus, have you recovered? Yes. Mr. Marcus, what did the doctor say? The doctor said that I needed a break to go for a walk and take a water break <coughs> to kill the headache. That was the prescription. Not every headache requires medicine. Exactly, yes. sir. Sometimes all you need is just a break from pressure. Just, you know, you cannot judge a fish by its inability to climb a tree. Oh yes, children need a break. They need adequate rest from pressure. Even my chicken have more freedom than these children. Mr. Marcus. Father, yes. I think you are right. I did not know that this matter was affecting Stefano. Portia, we prescribe the wrong prescription. The prescription! Stefano, come. Go and take a break. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Kuka. Yes. Can I come with my friend? Why not? I have an idea. We can use your farm to shoot a video. That will go viral on Talk Talk. Talk Talk! I will talk to their parents to allow you to shoot your video. We all need to enjoy the prescription.
Makofi, Makofi, one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Imeweza sana. Asante ni sana. Thank you so much. As we prepare for the second last item, nataka ku introduce Warembo wako hapa. Hawa Warembo wameni hijack. Wakaniambia mimi naangalia watu wa kudance, naangalia comedians, nakataa kuangalia watu wa kuimba. So introduce yourselves, say where you come from, what you're going to do for us. Alafu muifanye. Hi everyone. Um Ragas from B prestigious boy girls school Nairobi. B. Here to sing, yeah, B. Here to sing to you a song. Please don't sleep. I know our voices are so melodious, so don't sleep. Yeah, thank you. I find a way. Sasa ni ahama Afanwe Zizo fule lana Uwe Ingonu ya mi Guwe Bazo fela ban Afanwe Sasa ni ahama Afanwe Zizo fule lana Uwe Ingonu ya mi We can do better than that. We are picking my coffee. Don't go, don't go, don't go, guys. Ni me oita ni wapangi. Johnny, I'd like to request our first lady kindly if you can take a picture with these beautiful ladies. Karibeni apa? We are picking my coffee. Tafadali to pick any mama oita wa taifa my coffee pia. There you go. Asante sana. Makofi, makofi, tafadhali. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. We appreciate it. Asante ni sana. Asante ni sana, tutaunana round two. Niko na pia boy child hapa ambaye pia mesema nataka kutuguzia kidogo. Karibu bro. Uyu pia ni muimbaji. Your Excellency, hiyo style ya kuvaa trouser inaitua Don't Touch. Don't disturb and don't touch. Tuende bro. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Sami from Mukuni Boys High School and I'm going to perform a song. It's a love song. Soon take us in my love and watch into your fish on him. We the Abila Woga to less his nippet. I'll buy some boxes you can share with me. What a cool visit to Shinami. Kifungu kutole kopi sizu bai kwa get Vitungu tutone ngozi uchi ujonyesh Si valentines ni kweke ya gaspale kwa TV Lazma olewe ni must be me Kesho yetu sifana ni shena jana Lamina really has it osha ni upana Uchumi mbaya but I'll spend my two days with you Leo ikona guarantee Takwita wangu kabla witu na maulana You're my roses but I still give you your flowers Nita kupenda sai na kasi sai Ni sasa hivi Takwita wangu kabla witu na maulana You're my roses but I still give you your flowers Nita kupenda sai na kasi sai Ni sasa hivi Makofi tafadhali Asante sana bro Mimi ndiyo nita kushugulikia hapa backstage Karibu sana Sante Mikuini boys is from Rakanidhi County. Next on stage and last your excellency is Santa Maria from Elgeo Maracuit County and they are presenting a cultural 
creative dance entitled Cherono. Cherono is a young uh, girl in high school who is forced into early marriage. The father wants dowry, not that he is poor, but it is just part of their culture to marry off their children when they are still young. The mother is, however, sympathetic of the plight of the young girl, and he, she takes her back to school. However, she is abducted by the Kaporyong and forcefully married off. Fortunately, she is rescued by Ministry of Education officials. Welcome, Your Excellency, sir, and thank you for being with us.
Haya tuwapongeze kwa makofi tafadhali. Let's give them a wonderful, wonderful round of applause. And as we do that, students, I'll request that you freeze right where you are. Don't move. Tuko pamoja. Don't move. Let me invite His Excellency, the Deputy President, to take a picture with them. Kindly, Your Excellency, if you can just join them on stage for a quick picture with the students. Tuwa pigie makofi tena tafadhali. And as we do that, we've come to the end of the presentations, Your Excellency. And we will now be going to the part where we'll have some brief remarks, some brief speeches. And for us to transition, I'll request that we have the last film uh, clip that should be queued so that we prepare the stage. Then we proceed to the part where we're going to have speeches. So let us thank you very much, Your Excellency. Asante sana. And at this point, let's have the last film production, which should be about one minute as we clear the stage as we get ready for the speeches. When you're helping someone special to there for them when the pressure is heating up and when the big day comes along you're excited to celebrate with amazing children Thank you. One more round of applause for our students for a wonderful, wonderful job done together with their teachers and production team. And at this point, Your Excellency, we will now proceed to where we're going to have the speeches. And the first speech is going to be, or the first remarks we're going to have from the chairman, Kenya Drama and Film Festival, Professor C.J. Odiambo, to make some brief remarks. Welcome, sir. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Hon. William Samoe Ruto, Her Excellency, the First Lady, Rachel Ruto, His Excellency, the Deputy, Govern uh, the, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, the, His Excellency, the Governor of Nyeri, and all governors present, the Honorable Cabinet Secretary for Education and all Cabinet uh, Secretaries present, all the leaders and all the members of the audience, good afternoon. I want to take this opportunity first and foremost to thank His Excellency the President and First Lady for accepting to be both our chief guest as well as our host. It does not happen every day, and there's no contradiction. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, because this is a, a drama and film festival, I'm going to frame my remarks in form of a script, and I'm going to stick to the script. My script will have three acts. Act one will be gratitude. Act two, will be reflections and, in, and vision. And at three, Your Excellency, I will seek your indulgence, uh, indulgence with 
all the humility to allow me today to recognize two groups as well as introduce my adjudicators and also the members of the National Executive Council. They actually told me, Your Excellency, that if they, were not, if they are not going to be seen here, they will never get another opportunity to be seen on television or be heard on radio. So they say they want to, to be in the talk talk and go virtual like others, viral like others. Thank you, Your Excellency. So I will begin by appreciating um, the Deputy, His Excellency, the Deputy President, for having graced our second day of the gala. And uh, it was extremely uh, generous and hospitable to us. And as Kenyans would say, Alitufanye ile kitu. And we are celebrating. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for that. And then, Our Excellency, the Governor of Embu. This lady is great. She's wonderful. Your Excellency, we gave a, a wish list of certain things that we wanted to be done. I can tell you with no contradiction at all that she fulfilled all the wishes and even added some. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, you gave certain directives uh, when we met you last year. And I'm going to speak to, the, to your directive as part of the gratitudes. Your Excellency, you gave di a directive that we should plant trees. I can tell Your Excellency that for many years we've been planting trees symbolically. Now we are not planting trees symbolic, symbolically. We are doing it in a realistic way to conserve the environment. And we have planted trees through the collaboration with Kenya Institute of Development, through the CEO, uh, Professor Ochengo Ngondo. Uh, we've planted about 26,000 trees. And we have more to go. Thank you very much for that. And also, I want to take this opportunity again through your directive that the Sports, Arts, and Social Development Fund has contributed massively in the realization of this year's festival. Once again, thank you very much. And again, we go back to your directive that we need to digitalize our products and get them monetized. The KICD has recorded, curated, and archived those material for research, teaching, and commercialization. So we are moving ahead. And uh, also I want to say that We've also had other partners who have come in to help us uh, with the realizations of your directives. We have Kenya Revenue Authority that has supported us. We have Communication Authority of Kenya. We have Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. And at this point, sir, I want to make a public apology to ESEC that through an omission, we left their logo out of our banners, and we're extremely sorry for that. We have Kenya universities and colleges, central placement services, who have also been our great partners in this. Uh, we have Kenya Cultural Center, and with this one, Your Excellency, I want to give a special recognition for this, that Kenya Cultural Center through their CEO, Mr. Mike Pundo, are providing 10 scholarships through Talanta Hela for the most, prom uh, most promising uh, performers. Thank you. Uh, 
And then, Your Excellency, uh, we were blessed uh, this time round uh, when the Deputy Vice Chancellor, I mean, sorry, the Deputy Vice President, and I come from the university, so Chancellor is always coming up, uh, came and uh, Cleophas Malala, who is a product of this festival, talked to me and he decided to create an, an initiative that will be known as Drama and Film Festivals Award Endowment Fund. And he pledged two million and the deputy president said that uh, Malala cannot give more than him. And he said he was going to give three million. And Mr. President, you know what I'm insinuating. Uh, Your Excellency, the theme for this year's drama festival was unlocking opportunities for social transformation through film and drama. The participants explored various themes, and uh, Your Excellency, I want to tell you today uh, that um, as you saw on the stage, these performances identify problems in the society. They analyze the problems in the society and then they rehearse them and provide possibilities through the vision of the performances. All our problems in this country, Your Excellency, if you bring this theater people and film, they will help us to deal with the problems and they will be able to also create awareness like we saw with the autism and all the other productions so that the, the society can be aware about some of these things. And this will be done very well through, uh, through drama and film. So Your Excellency, today we give you a sample that represents the mo mosaic of this country. The performances we had here were from the early year education up to the universities. And I want to thank the managers of our universities, the vice chancellors, through their chair, Professor Mugendi of Embu University, for bringing back universities to the festival. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, we are losing the universities. And we need them because this land has also want to see what is done by the universities and they're coming back. Your Excellency, now I want to share a few things very fast, what I call reflections and vision. And this is based on what you told us when we were with you last year. One is that we want to monetize and we've begun the conversation on monetization of the festival. And we are having the Kenya uh, Film Trust and uh, the KCC, that is Kenya Cultural Center, who have come up and want to help us to publish all these plays so that they can be sold as well as be used in our schools as resource material. So we are already getting there. And then uh, the, the last thing, Your Excellency, Excellency, on my reflections is that we want to make the festival to respond to the needs of the society more than it is doing right now. And one thing that we want to do is that during, because now we are going to have uh, uh, the creative arts path in our curriculum, we need to develop the capacity of our teachers because at the moment we really don't have teachers who are recognized by TAC as teachers of drama and film. So during the festival like this, we will want to have clinics where we can train them we have conferences and seminars by experts so that they can develop knowledge on drama and film so that then your government can then enhance that by organizing for in-service courses and then give them certification. And that will help us to cure the problem that we have right now of lack of teachers of drama and film. Finally, we are also thinking about the Utna style of production where we can have this place recorded very well through KICD and Kenya Cultural Center, and we sell them internationally. In the 80s, we used to watch Utna, bringing us 
a place from Nigeria, Ghana, and all those places, and they were so exciting. So we can also leverage on that and enable our, our, our students to make more money. So at this point, Your Excellency, I want to thank you, and this I was actually sent by the teachers to tell you that when you gave the directive last year that the teachers of performing arts and sports be promoted, the process is ongoing and they are happy. So if it can be accelerated for those who are still on the waiting line, we will be even more happy about that. And then also, from my own part, I work with members, officials from the Ministry of Education, and they're the ones who form my secretariat. My humble request is that wakumbukwe. And so now, Your Excellency, as I've said, uh, that you give me a few minutes to introduce the adjudicators and then the executive committee, and you allow me just to recognize the local organizing committee of Eastern Region, wherever they are, they just stand. They did a wonderful job for us on the ground. Uh, Eastern, they are there. Thank you very much. And I also want to recognize the head of directorate of field activities and co-curriculum activities, Mr. Nelson Sifuna, for your unlimited support to this event. Your Excellency, now, I would like the adjudicators, with your permission, to come here. I'll simply call their names and where they come from. Adjudicators, as the adjudicators come, uh, the National Executive Committee members, can you get yourself so that we move very fast? Just names and quick, quick, yeah. Oh, nothing else, yeah. Because that is what they were trying for. Oh, sorry, the mic was fun. Yes, yes, I'll do that. Our adjudicators for the 2024 uh, drama and film festivals are as follows. If I call you, just raise your hand eh, so that we recognize you personally. Michael Kiguta Kabarak University, Rashid Mohammed Rashid, St. Augustine Pre uh, Prep School, Stephen Ouko, Kisumu Polytechnic, Mr. Rob Robert Onyanja, Sironga Girls, Cosmas Bimo University, Kale Bonsarigo Kedoa Special, Evelyn Puoka, Experienced Teachers, Teacher, that is what she wrote to me, but I know where she teaches. Doris Ruitos, Nguuni Hill Secondary, Joy Mocho, Shilak. Shilalio Secondary School, Geoffrey Ngeno Kericho DTC, Obilongongo Alliance France, Nicolas Adongo Film Producer, Waka Waka Production, uh, Professor Robert Oduori Moy University, Mary Okoth Principal St. Mary's, uh, St. Teresa's Makueni Girls, Alfred Amani Ebuyalu Secondary School, Esheri Munala Principal Kaputie Secondary School, Moses Nyongesa Principal Shuja Mekatilili, uh, Benson Kiapi, uh, Kipai Principal Olol Taimaituya School, uh, William Wawi, uh, Miriam Wawira Kangaru Girls, Francis Mwandi Deputy Principal Comprehensive School, uh, Dr. Simon Peter Tieno, University of Nairobi. Stephen Kamenzi, Principal, Principal Kimuuno, Comprehensive School. Uh, Charles Gatere, Deputy Principal, Principal Juvenelis Gitau. And finally, Jerry Alvin Owori, Deputy Principal Moigas Masabit. Thank you very much. You will be on Talk Talk and go viral. Thank you. Uh, the last ones are... Uh...
Yeah, we can take a quick picture with, with uh, His Excellency the President and the Deputy President. Uh, uh, members of the National Executive Committee of the Kenya National Drama and Film Festivals, uh, please come and line up. Your Excellency, um, uh, there are many, there are about 25. I, I don't know if I should call the names, or I've just seen you being extremely creative, uh, greeting them and asking them their names. At this point, we'll now welcome the Cabinet Secretary for Education, Honorable Ezekiel Machogu, to make his remarks and in turn invite the Deputy President. Tumbigia Makofi Akija, welcome Waziri. Yeah, thank you, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Our Excellency, the First Lady, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, the Excellency's Governors, the Governor of Nyeri County, the Governor of Embu County, the Members of Parliament here, the Chairman, Professor Diambo, the, the Adjudicators and all of us, good afternoon. Your Excellency, this is the 62nd National Drama Festival. We started it here in uh, Embu eight days ago, and the total number that we had participating in this event this year, Your Excellency, was the highest because we are 23,927 participants. The number of vehicles that we had in Embu town were 357 uh, vehicles. Indeed, the entire week, the wood town of Embu 
was carried yellow, Your Excellency. And we thank the good people of Embu because they were quite welcoming, they were very hospitable, and the security was good during the entire week. Out of those, Your Excellency, the desire of each and every runner who competes in any drama or film is to make it here to the national level where they can be able to present before you. So the 300 uh, also who were able to make it this day here have had their dream realized because that has been their desire over the years as they underwent the competitions right from the sub-counties up to this particular level. Your Excellency, we also want to undertake and promise you that now we have a performing art as part of CPC, a competence-based curriculum, and uh, indeed after next year, the year 2026, Your Excellency, one of our major pathways is performing art. Uh, uh, we will have sports science and performing art among the three major uh, pathways that we are going to have in our senior secondary. And we thank you for making it possible for these young people to realize their talent and indeed in ensuring that you provide a arrive, arrive line for them, Your Excellency. We also thank you so much because following your directive that uh, uh, performing art, sports, and the social development fund uh, provides fund for this particular festival that was done, Your Excellency, and that is what made it possible for us to perform uh, the festivities right from the sub-counties all the way up to the national level. Those who have gone back uh, uh, to their counties are over 23,000 so far. We are remaining with about 500, and Your Excellency, we have faith that even the ones who have remained here will go safely back home because we have not had any one single instant, uh, Your Excellency. Finally, Your Excellency, we were also able to follow up with your directive that we monetize and commercialize this. Indeed, even now, we have been taking a record and making sure that we, pre we preserve all the presentations that were being made here by KCD. And apart from that, Your Excellency, in education, we also made sure that each and every event we have, we must have tree planting. So our target was 23,000, following the number of students and the runners we had here, but we were able to surpass that, and I'm happy to report to you, sir, that we planted over 26,000 citrings in Embu Town. Uh, uh, and Your Excellency, uh, Teacher Service Commission, uh, the Chairman Chamrek, uh, Mutsuri is here. You also did direct that uh, when we are doing promotions, we also remember those in the drama and the film industry. He has confirmed to me that he has pro uh, promoted quite a number. I insisted that he will be able to give me the names so that I'm able to share with the committee and those who are in the drama for them to confirm that indeed we have been able to comply with your uh, directive. Your Excellency. For we, moving forward, Your Excellency, we promise that we will be able to do much better uh, combining our efforts with the very able committee and the very uh, the other actors and your ministry, my brother, Pabna Mwamba, uh, so that we are able to take this particular area to another level. With those remarks, Your Excellency, I want to introduce the officers from my ministry who are here. My peers of higher education, Dr. Petrus Nyangara, is here. My acting peers, uh, uh, Pesik, is here, Florence Amoit. Uh, I have the chairman, my chairman of Teacher Service Commission, Chamrek Muturi, is here. And my CEOs of the state agencies are also all here. And we have had a lot of support from each and every one of them. And we thank them so sincerely. With those many remarks, Your Excellency, with your permission, I want to invite the governor of Nyeri County so that he can be able to make a remark. And then from there, we invite His Excellency and the Deputy President to invite you, sir. Welcome, uh, Excellency Governor.
Thank you very much, Waziri. Your Excellency, the President, allow me a minute to invite the Chair of UDA and my colleague, Governor, who has been the host. Uh, High Excellency Cecile Barile to say a word before I... Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, your Excellency, the First Lady, Mama Rachel Ruto. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa. Cabinet Secretary for Education. All other leaders present. And our great teachers and students. Good afternoon. Your Excellency, I have very little to say except to say that we have really had a nice time with our visitors in Embu County. It was an, a very, very beautiful nine days with them. And it was also a an, an chance for the people of Embu County to have serious booming business. So thank you very much for choosing Embu County, the land of opportunity. Your Excellency, I've had a chance after many years to watch what talent Kenya has to offer. And let me say that looking at where I came from and where we are right now, we've truly come a long way in terms of arts and creative industry. And all we ask for is for more support from national government and the county government, Your Excellency. But more importantly, because these talents are coming right from the grassroots level, as you have seen Chibukizi coming from very far and ending up in State House, that all of us governors must seriously consider building the necessary infrastructure in form of modern theaters so that these young people can have the right places to perform and build their potential. Further, I think it is important we continue to make funds available for this important industry and ensure that we help in monetizing the same so that we can give employment to our young people. Thank you, Excellency, for the support your government continues to give to these young people, to the creative industry, to the talented young Kenyans across the country, and we look forward to even more support. Asante ni sana, na mukienda nyumbani, musalimie wale muliwacha. Asante ni sana, thank you. Uh, thank you very, very much, Chair. Uh, and uh, my colleague, Your Excellency the President, Her Excellency the First Lady, His Excellency the Deputy President, elected leaders in this place, uh, Waziri Wetu, uh, Ezekiel Machogu, Walimu uh, Wote, Wenzangu, Mabibi na Mabwana Hamjambo. Your Excellency, standing here and watching the place that we have seen and all the presentations takes me back to many, many years when I went to college and I had come from right from this county, the land of Mau Mau, where we did not have a lot of um, R's and L's. And so on the first time I was put on stage by my lecturer, I was talking about choose instead of shoes and shoes instead of choose. I also didn't know the difference between R's and L's, but a drama helped me understand that there is a difference uh, because I was saying that I am choosing a pair of shoes instead of saying I'm choosing a pair of shoes. Uh, today I am able to get the difference and it came from drama. I was also able to stand before people and speak and therefore I trace my roots way back to that time in Kisi College in 1978 when I went out to be trained as a teacher and learned that there, was, there were all those differences. Your Excellency, uh, performing arts and really looking at the new CBC is the way to go because for many times the Kenya system of education has been pitting uh, and, and, and judging the ability of an elephant on, I mean, judging elephants and fish together and giving them the test of swimming. Today, CBC helps us judge fish alone on swimming and then elephants on maybe what they are competent in. Today, as we speak, we also must thank you because of the support that you continue to give. 
And beyond everything else, Your Excellency, allow that I just make an observation. I, was, I hosted the primary schools sports in Nyeri. And we, I did note that primary sports have now been broken up into two. There is, I don't know, primary, there is junior secondary, and then there is secondary. My thinking, Your Excellency, as someone who has been through this system, is that we need to have primary school games, and then we have secondary school games. This junior thing might, be end, might end up confusing, because at the end of the day, they will all come back. May I end by saying thank you for choosing to come here, uh, and to coming to Nyeri, where we have really enjoyed ourselves, for every one of us who is here, please take time to uh, visit the, the excursions and uh, the good places we have in this county. We are a hospitable people. Thank you very, very much, and may God bless you. Karibu sana waziri. Your Excellency, also allow me to recognize the presence of the Meru Governor, Kawira Mangasa. Yeah, thank you. We have two... Uh, female governors and even your excellency uh, the attendance here at the participants 58 percent were female gender and 42 percent were male so you can see where the talent is with this your excellency i now invite the deputy president of the republic of kenya to make his remarks and invite you sir welcome welcome sir Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, Your Excellency, the First Lady, Mamaricho Ruto, our Cabinet Secretary for Education, our Governors for the three counties, elected leaders, the Executive Committee that put this festival together, the adjudicators, the performing artists, good afternoon. Your Excellency, this is a beautiful day, and I think for me and you and for those who work under you, the performance that was most appropriate was the prescription. I think we really needed it. Four hours to while away, unwind, just relax, take it easy, because uh, what we saw here, the pressure, is what goes through our offices every day as you try to manage the affairs of this country. We are under intense pressure, trying to manage the economy, trying to manage foreign relations, trying to manage the doctors, trying to manage everybody, listening to all sorts of advices from every corner. So in life, we need a prescription that once in a while we need to wind away and while away and just take it easy so that our minds can be apt and we can be able to make even better decisions. Your Excellency, the place of theater in our society as Africans has been very instrumental. The African people from time immemorial communicated important messages through drama, song, and dance. And as we sat here to see the very beautiful productions that were here. The production here on Zebedao is a reflection of what is happening in every village. Children born with the deformities, with the challenges, are hidden from society. People do not want to take the stigma. They do not want to be associated with what they consider as shame. You have seen a real sister betraying a real brother because of a challenge and saying is a child of a house girl. That is the society we live in. And I think through drama, through song and dance, we can communicate important messages. And the moral of that story that was told here is that all people with the challenges are human beings. We must show them love and compassion. And they too have abilities. And I think that was a very powerful performance. Your Excellency, I sat through the second day of the gala performance. And I can tell you, as a student of theater arts, 
the standard this year was very high and uh, I was discussing with our SG Malala and we did agree that uh, God being gracious to us, all factors being constant, next year we should be attending the two days of gala because we missed many performances that were very electrifying and would have made us very uh, happy. I don't know what happened to the organizers. There was a very beautiful performance that should have come before the president and his people here on the smartphone. There was a good performance by a young girl saying smartphones have taken over our homes and offices are extended into the home late into the night. People have stopped talking to each other. Everybody is busy. The husband is busy with the phone. The wife is busy. The children are busy. Nobody is talking to each other. Meetings are going on in the house after work. It was a beautiful performance. I really, I don't know what happened. It would have come here so that even ourselves, you remind us that uh, when we go home, we may want to put the smartphone aside and start living normally the way we used to do before the, uh, advance, uh, the advent of this technology. Your Excellency, we really want to appreciate this artist. I want to honor the directors and the producers and the scriptwriters. This was very wonderful productions, and we want to encourage you to go further. As I said in Embu, and I have discussed with Cleo Malala, he has advised me what to do. I want, if the executive committee allows me next year to sponsor a category for drug and substance abuse all the way from the county to the regional level to the national level with the trophies and hefty cash awards so that we can have very serious productions on the effects of drug and substance abuse that are ravaging our nation. And I'll be able to sit down with the committee and Cleo Malala and we package that category so that next year is part of the competition so that we can have those productions that can inform our society so that we can get better. Before I call you, Your Excellency, if you allow me, I would like to introduce the leadership that is here so that people can know who is here. The local member of parliament for Madera, Mupigie Makofi Angalia Bandio, Eric Wamombi, is a member of parliament here for Madera, my former constituency. Uh, the senator of Nyeri, Wahome Wamatinga, the one who said, as the people of Nyeri don't like talking too much because we have several challenges between CH, SH, R, L, we have a challenges. But myself, over the years, I've overcome that challenge. <laughs> but the problem is when I'm here back in the village, my home is a kilometer from here, I get back into it. I think it's the old adage that you can take the men out of the village, but you can't take the villager out of him. Uh, then we have, uh, whom do we have there? Beatrice. Beatrice and Nagala, the women member of parliament for Vihiga. We have uh, the Honorable Haika Mizigi, women rep for Taita Taveta. We have the deputy speaker of the Senate, Kaduri Murungi, and also the senator of Meru. Who else do we have there? We have uh, Mukami Mashinani, the women uh, rep for Nyeri. We have Samuel Gachove, the member of parliament for Subukia in Nakuru. Those are the leaders who came with us. When we came to Embu, we came with the young MPs who are also artists. We were with, there with KJ, John Carey of Dagoretti. We were there with uh, Jalash from uh, Langata. We were there with the latest comedian in town, Salasia. We were many people. You asked, we had a good time with these artists. And then we have, of course, Cleo Malala, our Secretary General, a very renowned scriptwriter and producer who have done great works of art in this country. And Cleo, we want to encourage you to continue writing more, have more productions. Let me request all of us to be outstanding as you help me to usher in the President of the Republic of Kenya, Kwama Kofi, Akuje Atuzugumzie, na Nene Nasisi. Karibu, Mwishimu Arais. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Deputy President. Tafadhali to Ketichini Asanteni Sana. Leaders present, managers of this great event, adjudicators, 
students and the Kenyan fraternity present here, good afternoon. I'm Jambo. Um, this is a very befitting event. I take pride in the fact that today we have come yet again to see the extent of Kenyan talent, the depth of innovation and creativity. And that is why I am delighted to welcome the winners of various categories in the National Drama and Film Festival, which recently concluded in Embu. It is a privilege for me to host you here at Sagana State Lodge because this concert marks a very unique juncture in every performer's life. I know many people when they start at the beginning, their aspiration is to finally perform at this national event. On the one hand, it is the culmination of successful run of competitive performances where you have emerged as champions on merit. Therefore, the state concert is an event to recognize and celebrate your talent, learning, hard work, discipline, and also teamwork. Together with your colleagues, teachers, and entire schools, communities, you will have accomplished something truly special that you will remember for the rest of your life. And I therefore say to all of you, congratulations. On the other hand, this concert potentially marks the beginning of a career in the creative and performing arts where the prodigious gifts and brilliant talent that have been on such wonderful display here will flourish to support meaningful self-expression and fulfilling livelihoods as you proceed from here. The caliber of talent demonstrated here has persuaded me that the young people of our country make up a deep reservoir of creative, artistic, and performing excellence and affirmed my commitment to invest in and support the development of Kenya's creative economy so as to turn it into a significant economic sector in its own right and an enabler of value addition to other items for export. As set out in the bottom-up transformation agenda, we have the perfect condition to unleash a creative revolution in Kenya. To begin with, our highly talented young people are capable of creative excellence in such diverse fields as music, theater, and drama, graphic design, and digital animation, fashion, and craft, as well as new and emerging fields like virtual and augmented reality. A case in point is the prescription as was said ably by um, the Deputy President here. This understanding underpinned our commitment to expand the creative space in terms of protection of artistic freedoms as well as rights, including intellectual property rights, mainstream the development of arts and culture infrastructure, develop incentives, adequate capacity, and other forms of support for enhanced culture and creative production and mainstream the creative economy as we should as a nation. We also pledge to promote the expansion of galleries for Kenyan arts and crafts locally and abroad, establish a film fund and create incentives to catalyze local filmmaking, support the growth of local film industry and establish a sustained film ecosystem while also making it possible for musicians to turn up their art into viable businesses by enforcing intellectual property rights and leveraging the digital economy to enhance their incomes. I am very proud that there is tremendous progress in us monetizing the talents of many of our Kenyan artists. In our mission, therefore, the performing arts are no longer mere extracurricular pursuits, 
but are fundamental components of education that are seamlessly integrated into the school curriculum, which now has defined pathways for the creative and artistic learners. Ezekiel Machoko and your team need to now develop curriculum for teachers of the arts space. The uh, KICD have informed me that they have developed curriculum for students, but we additionally need to develop curriculum for teachers so that we can have teachers who specifically are trained in the space of music, in the space of art, in the space of film, in the space of creative economy. I am persuaded that while it is true that we have promoted all the teachers, now I have had occasion to engage with the Teacher Service Commission, as I promised last year, 432 teachers who participated in the events last year were all of them promoted in January this year. I am looking forward to additional steps that will assist and augment what teachers are going through, including those who help us um, manage and put together and organize this great event. It is not easy to have 23,000 participants and all of them go through the mill without hitches. It takes a lot of commitment, it takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of determination, and I want to congratulate the organizers, Professor Odiambo and your team. Pongezi san. To bring this um, vision to fruition, last year I established the department, actually the year before, I established the Department of Creative Economy under the Ministry of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports to develop the talent pipeline all the way from the school's ecosystem all the way to the marketplace. We also launched the Talanta Hela initiative, swiftly growing into a transformative government flagship, making tremendous progress in commercializing talent and creativity and innovation. Through Talanta Hela, we have a framework for identifying, nurturing, and monetizing talents in a bottom-up manner plans are underway to spread this to other creatives. This is why we have been deliberately seeking partnerships globally, securing a number of significant deals in our bid to transform the creative space into a mega industry with capacity to employ millions of youth and support sustainable livelihoods. During my visit to the U.S. last year, we signed three historic agreements that are bound to immensely transform this talent space. One is our agreement with the Grammy Global Ventures, which places Kenya at the forefront of bringing the global value chain of Grammys to Africa through the Pan-African Recording Academy. We are already rolling out activities under this program and anchored by this agreement. Kenya is among the four countries that will now participate in the Grammys, and we have already put forward our bid to host the African headquarters of the Grammys. Our MOU with Invention Studios of Hollywood in Los Angeles has also established a platform for Kenyan film creatives to access Hollywood, while making Kenya an attractive destination for filmmaking. Invention Studios have commenced activities in Kenya, and shortly we will see Kenyans participating in scripts in Hollywood. And among them, I hope, will be the great artists that I saw on this stage today. It is true, the prescription was great. But I also think Zebedayo 
and Alma did a wonderful job. And I, I think the names had some synchrony. We had Alfayo, we had Zebedayo. I think only Sakayo was missing. <laughs> We have also signed an exciting deal with the National Basketball Association through which we are rolling out the NBA for Schools program to grow basketball to international level anchored by the Kenya Academy of Sports. The NBA has already opened offices in Nairobi and is working with our Kenya Academy of Sports on this initiative. Besides these three partnerships, we have also struck a deal with Google, and I know some of their representatives are here, Meta, Facebook, and TikTok, or is it TokTok, to commercialize and monetize content produced by our talented young people. Our creatives in pageantry and fashion have not been left behind with global pigeons like the icon, iconic Miss Universe on its way to Kenya. With this unprecedented progress in our creative industry, Kenya has won the race to host the AU Secretariat of African Audiovisual Cinema Commission, elevating Kenyan talent to the continental stage. I am asking the people in this space, the leadership in this space, to take advantage of Kenya's positioning as we seek to put Kenya in the right standing. The ministry will officially unveil this secretariat next month. And to anchor this transformative milestone, I urge the ministry to hasten enacting the Creative Economy Policy and Creative Industry Bill, providing the ultimate anchor for our transformation. And I am happy that we have members of parliament here. Shortly, we will be forwarding to parliament the policy and the creative industry bill for enactment so that we can anchor this whole exercise on the firm foundation of legislation and law in Kenya. It is therefore abundantly clear that while this concert is a national event of great importance, the Kenya National Drama and Film Festival is serious business for every stakeholder present and we are all doing our best to make sure that the potential that has been showcased here and which represents the first creative endowments of our country is transformed into a platform for expression and a source of livelihood for future artists and also captivating and creative information, entertainment and education for all audiences. This is the foundation of our creative economy. Let me also confirm that we have two international events that are coming, one at the end of this month, where we are hosting the World Bank's International Development Association replenishment, 21st replenishment uh, conference. I will want the organizers to work with my office to make sure that some of the scripts that were here will be showcased during that international conference because I think they are befitting. Either um, there's a Bedayo guy and uh, his sister or the prescription. One of them should be there and I invite them to look at which ones. The festival is therefore one platform to engage every Kenyan learner and expose them to opportunities in performing arts, as well as resources, technologies, infrastructure, and trained teachers. We have established a structured mechanism to facilitate sustained professional development of trainers and exposure for organizers of the festival with a view to enhancing the standards of production and management of the festival on a sustained basis. At last year's state concert, 
I made a commitment to lead our nation into a new era of innovation and plug into the power of technology to propel our cultural festivals into the digital age. Today, I confirm that, pro that that promise by unveiling a groundbreaking digital platform developed through collaboration by the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, Amazon Web Services, and M-Pesa. Now I want to congratulate those partners that have worked with us to provide this platform. We are showing that through partnership, we can and will usher in a new era of transparency account and accountability where every shilling generated reaches the creative talent behind it and it is not lost in between the bureaucracy or the system. Within a few months, the platform will be opened up to independent artists and content creators, ensuring that they too have a marketplace to showcase their talents and receive their fair share of resources and enhanced compensation for their creative works. Our intention is to ultimately facilitate them to earn the highest income available on any existing uh, platform. I note that the Sports Fund remains the largest financier of core curriculum activities and that the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development has expanded its strong tradition, traditional support to include drama and film. The contribution of the Communication Authority, and I want to thank the leadership of Communication Authority who are here, the Kenya Revenue Authority, again, they are here. The Kenya Universities and Colleges Central Placement Services and the Kenya Cultural Center, including Brookbond East Africa and Kenya Film Commission, are also important partners in this exercise. This is a positive and to be encouraged. And as more partners follow your commendable example, the festival will in due course be self-sustaining and capable of supporting an expanded array of activities. I'm calling on um, sponsors to this event. There is tremendous followership. There is enormous opportunities that can be created. Instead of us waiting for government to sponsor this event, I want to encourage more um, partners to come on board to sponsor this event and to showcase the partnership between our schools, the creative industry, the creative talent space, and the future that we all anticipate. This is very much in keeping with the theme of this year's festival, which has found powerful expression in the captivating offerings from the performers of all ages, from kindergarten goers to college and university students. I want to congratulate our universities for backstopping and being part of this great effort to bring creative industry and talent into the middle of our national development, especially in the creative industry. As the proud patron of both the Kenya Drama and Film, as well as the Kenya Music Festival, I wish to underscore the fundamental function of these platforms in representing our diversity, reflecting our aspirations, and doing so in a unique, authentic, unmistakable Kenyan way. Ultimately, we must see this festival as a platform to express our patriotism and national values innovatively as part of the holistic development of Kenyan learners. I take this opportunity to appreciate the work done by the county government of Embu and uh, Governor Cicely Mbalire and all the leaders, and in collaboration with the National Government Administration and other partners in successfully hosting the national event of this magnitude. And I want to say to Embu County, congratulations. I also commend my good professor Christopher Odiambo and the entire executive committee of the festival for putting together a memorable festival which has exceeded all expectations. I am told this year we had more participants. Last year we had 15,000. This year we have 23,000. That is commendable and it speaks to 
your acumen, your commitment towards organizing this, including the Ministry, of course, of Education under the leadership of good Waziri uh, Ezekiel Machogu for ensuring that our learners had a fulfilling competition and that the whole event was safe. I want to congratulate all the performers here. Um, all that has been said, uh, the, the scripts that were done here, the array of uh, presentations are phenomenal and we appreciate all those who have made this a reality. We will continue to work together to see to it that the pathways that we have agreed under our competence-based uh, curriculum are fashioned in a manner and appropriate training, appropriate capacities, capacities built so that all children talented in different ways can explore their potential, can nurture their talent, and they can um, live and work in the spaces that they are comfortable in. The 2024 Kenya National Drama and uh, Film Festival, therefore, is now closed. Asante Nisana, um, to wish all our children the very best of uh, their time as they go back home, to commend all the parents who have allowed their children to participate in this space, and to commit that continuously we will make effort as government to fashion this space because we find a lot of value and we find a lot of um, uh, space for growth in this, uh, in this area. On what was recommended here by Professor Odiambo, the ministry should work in a manner that if there is need, Waziri, if there is need for a fund that can take this into the future, we should work on it, the structures of government, so that appropriate provisions can be made. And good people who want to contribute can be facilitated to do the contribution. Let us build the framework, and then we can mobilize the resources to make sure that this space is given the support that it so des uh, deserves. So, Asante Nisana, congratulations. Karibu lunch. And namnayo, uh, namnayo, Asante Nisana. God bless you. A round of applause for His Excellency. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. And we have just one more item that we'd like to do, Your Excellency, with your permission, and that is the award ceremony. So at that where you are, I'll, may I kindly request that you're joined by Her Excellency, the First Lady, His Excellency, the Deputy President, the Cabinet Secretary, and the Chair. The rest of us kindly, let's take our seats as we now go to the award ceremony, which is the last part of this particular session. So we'll have them flank His Excellency as I now call on the winners. And the first, Your Excellency, is the Communications Authority Trophy Challenge, which was won by Butere Girls. Let's put our hands together as we have Butere Girls receive their award. Tuapigia makofi mazuri tafadhali. Wonderful, wonderful. The next is the KRA Trophy Challenge, and this has been won by Nyeri National Polytechnic. This is our best play, Tivet. Makofi ya Nyeri Polytechnic. And the next we are going to award is the KICD Trophy, highest score SNE primary. That is Giveaway Primary School, uh, Giveaway Friends Primary School. Makofi, a Giveaway Primary School, as they receive it. The fourth one and the second last one is KUCCPS Trophy, the highest score SNE secondary. And that has been won by Mombasa Secondary School. Makofi ya Mombasa Secondary School.
Vassal Secondary School. The last trophy is the K N T S S trophy. Well, there you have it. We have the 62nd edition of the National Drama and Film Festivals, uh, the concert that is always uh, led by the patron. Things uh, that <clears throat> the industry will be looking for.